Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing the new Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Southtown Mitsubishi for giving me some time with this Eclipse. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you need to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic. Fuel economy is 25 around town and then 26 on the highway with power outputs being 152 horsepower and then 184 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go to the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So, starting with the hood, you guys can see the distinctive lines there on either side. And you can see Eclipse Cross there in the center. And then really cool design here with the lights you guys can see down below as well. And then notice here with the chrome trim and then that matches the Mitsubishi logo and then you can see the silver trim at the bottom. And putting it all together, let me know you guys think, but I think it's got a pretty cool look. Now coming on the side here, our tire wheel setup is 225, 55, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, you got the silver there and then you've got the black in the center portion. Got these pretty prominent fender flares and then that trim continues along the side. And then notice the silver trim around the windows. And then here's our full side view with the Eclipse Cross. So here's a quick look at the key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, the opening for the hatch, and then the Mitsubishi logo, and we'll pop that open. Now the hatch itself is power operable, which is pretty cool. And when it comes to storage space, it's actually pretty spacious back here. You guys can see with the cargo cover here in the rear, and then got the netting down below that, and spare tire underneath as well. But yeah, pretty practical. And when you're all done, just press that, and that will lower the hatch right back down. Now you guys can see here with the tail lights design, and then of course Eclipse Cross here on the back as well. And then you got more silver trim there at the bottom. And putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the overall design here at the Eclipse Cross. Now taking a look at the door panel, you guys can see the padding here, and then you got the carbon fiber print, and then I like this trim around the handle itself. And then taking a look at the seats, you guys can see with the material use here, and then look at the padding there on the side. And then legroom back here is actually pretty dang solid. We've got some charging port action down below. A little bit of storage right there. And would you look at this? We also have a cup holder armrest. And then last but not least, bedroom's pretty good. Now taking a look at the front door panel, it's actually soft touch here at the top and then you can see the padding down below. We've got our mirror adjustments right here. The mirrors do power fold in. There's a quick look at them. And then you got all of our window controls. Front one is automatic. Again, the carbon fiber print right there as well. And then the front seats have that same design as the rear seats, power adjustments on the side. And look how fancy those pedals look. And then you guys can see stuff for like the hatch, stability control, lane departure, your collision assistance. And then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. So taking a look at the steering wheel, we've got nice soft touch all around. And then I like the black trim there at the bottom. I think that's pretty cool. We've got adaptive cruise control. You've got your voice command, phone controls, volume controls on the other side. And yeah, overall pretty snazzy look, right? And then you've got your regular stocks there on the back. Now here is our center gauge cluster here. You guys can see analog on either side. Then you got that screen there in the center, which is uh, telling us to <laughs> refuel because you know, we uh, don't have that much gas there. But yeah, again, simplistic setup. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera. You guys can also see the trajectory lines right there. And then notice the analog controls there for the radio as well. And I'd say resolution is pretty dang solid. And then that leads us to the infotainment system itself. Again, it's a more simplistic looking unit, but notice that, I mean, it responds very quickly overall again with the tuner controls that makes it so it's really easy to use um so yeah overall i'd say solid system and then i do want to mention we've got nice soft touch here on the dash and then you got like the carbon fiber print there in the back which is cool so it gives it a more premium feel overall and of course get our hazard light button right there we actually have dual zone climate controls here with this and then you guys can see we've got our eco mode right there and you got some usb action a little 12 volts and then we got some storage here it's actually illuminated which is pretty cool and then we have our shifter there for the CVT. You do have the manual mode if you want to shift, quote unquote shift, right? The gears yourself. Heated seat controls for the front. And then you guys can see this for the drive selects. So you got your snow mode, you've got your gravel mode, and then your normal mode that you can switch between for the all-wheel drive system. And then you guys can see here with the parking brake, you got your auto hold as well. And then we got some cup holder action right here. And look at all the black trim all around. And then good storage space in the center console. And you got some nice padding and stitching there on the top as well. And then, yeah, pretty cool with the glove box. Good storage. And then at the very top, get our controls here for the sun roofs. That is right. So we have one up front and we have one in the back 
as well, which is an interesting feature. Now, just because of all the rains, can be kind of hard to see the window sticker here, but 2024 Eclipse Cross, and let's see, yeah, whatever. So base MSRP 29,000, total MSRP after all options 32,295. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear, and let's test out this camera system and see how this uh, works. And by the way, this is pretty crazy. It was, yeah, this is this is like a Utah weather thing where. It's just a normal day, and then all of a sudden it will be torrential downpour. Um, but then it'll probably stop in like five, 10 minutes. It never, it never lasts very long. So it's, it's always interesting, the uh, weather here. But yeah, we'll see the camera system works quite well. Guess I gotta do the uh, defroster a little bit more. Fogging up the window here. This is from all the uh, extra humidity. No, man, it's like the window's all fogged up. Okay, let's let's get this cleared out. Do, do, do. There we go. So I guess we can confirm the defroster on the Eclipse Cross works quite well. So that is a big plus. Let's see if we can just do. Is that is that auto? Is that auto? I think that one's auto. Uh, yeah, I think that one's auto. Um, anyways, uh, seat comfort is actually really good. I do like the inserts on these seats and then the bolsters. It's got, it's, it's a nice feel overall. And you know, the turbo is doing good so far. We'll kind of see as we move along a little bit more how this all feels. But it's, you know, so far it's it's moved at a pretty, like it, it, it feels like it's got some good oomph to it. I mean, it moves. Just because of the traffic up here, I'm going to be turning a little bit earlier than normal. Just to avoid that. I like the steering. I think the steering's really good. Yeah, torque. It's like a, it's cool the, the big push you get from the torque. I think that's pretty solid. It's cool this has automatic windshield wipers. Um, yeah, suspension's comfortable. I mean, so far it's it's a, it's just a comfortable ride. So I think that's all pretty dang positive if you ask me. And the turbo seems to be, I mean, it's, it's got some good, like I said, it's, it's got some good grunt to it. And I mean, I'm not struggling for traction at all, again, with the rain and all of that. So that's good. And I'm not even in the, uh, I'm just in the front wheel drive mode. I guess we'll see what the... Okay, so I, yeah, so just in normal mode. I was seeing the different, it's kind of looking, see if it felt any different with the different modes. But, guess we can get up and move here. Yeah, really good torque. Instantly pops into eco mode every single time that it can. It's pretty cool. We don't have anyone coming, so we'll get our acceleration. I guess something's up here. Zoom, zoom. It's a Mazda thing, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, when it comes to get up and go and all that, I mean, this thing, this thing moves at a, a solid pace for what it is. So yeah, to sum things up here at the Eclipse Cross, you know, as an all wheel drive, you know, kind of more affordable crossover, I think this, I think this thing's pretty, I think this thing's pretty cool. Um, suspension's good. Yeah, it's, it's just, I, I don't really think there's anything that I could kind of, I don't think there's anything I could say bad about this, to be honest. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the Eclipse Cross. 
Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, compared to the competition, I mean, it's got good power. I guess one thing people might complain about is the fuel economy. I think that's the one thing that people might have some uh, reservations about. But either way, let me know what you guys think about this Eclipse Cross, and let me know if you'd rather get, you know, some other cars in this segment, like Honda HRV, Toyota CHR, all that kind of stuff.